Hi, Abadi here, and we are back again with another video of the invoice management system. In this one, we're going to look at how to implement a search feature like this. Okay, we're going to have invoice number and customer name as our search criteria. You can do search based on any of these two. Okay, now for example, I want to do a search based on the invoice number. I'm going to type the invoice number here and I click search. So that's going to filter down that record to the invoice number I put here. Okay, I can also decide to do a search based on the customer name. For example, I want to look for Abaji. I'm going to type the username or the customer name right here and do search. You can see we have that record. Okay, now um, let's say uh, we want to do a record or we want to do a search based on both the invoice number and the customer name. You're going to put the records right here. Let's say now I want to filter down the search to uh, to a more uh, defined result I'm gonna type the inverse number here and also the username I can design not the username the customer name I can decide to type the whole username or oh, I'm always saying username I can decide to type the whole customer name or just part of it as long as it is it starts with ARB is gonna do the filter so you can click search right here you can see it matches the customer name and also the invoice number if I put number two here let's see if that's gonna give us a record that doesn't turn out any re result okay now this is what we're gonna implement in this video and it's gonna be just few steps right if I scroll down or if I go to outcomes.com on uh, step number O oh, block number 16 of the invoice management system that's where you're gonna have this okay now if I scroll down this is the first step that we're gonna do we're gonna create a forms in forms.py next we're gonna define the form in our views and also create a condition when the form should be executed that is when I click on the search button and then apply that form on the template good so that's a quick summary now I'm gonna do these steps one after the other so step number one is to create a form I'm going to copy this and paste it in forms.py okay we're going to open forms.py which I already have open right here okay I'm going to scroll down paste it here okay make sure the my the indentations are done properly okay so always pay attention when you paste a code from a site and then uh, copy it from the site and paste it on your text editor always make sure to merge the indentation if not uh, you can run into some kind of other kind of um, indentation issues or indentation errors okay so we have an uh, a form similar to what we have here uh, so we're gonna name the form invoice search form okay and we're gonna use these two criteria or these two fields the invoice number and the name okay I'm gonna save that the next step is to um add that invoice in views good so we will have to import that um view force sorry we're gonna import the form first so i'm gonna go to um views.py and import the form right here from the forms import we had the invoice form i'm gonna do comma invoice search form so that's the form we just created in forms.py right so after importing this form we can now use it in the list of invoice view good so uh, we'll have to make sure that the invoice is or, or the form is uh, ready to be displayed on the template so to do that we're gonna use this line right here we're gonna use a variable called form okay and assign the form to it I'm gonna paste it right here good all right now to display the form uh, what I'll do let me just copy the rest of the code and I can now switch over to the template and explain how to display the form okay I'm gonna copy this that's the site criteria I'm gonna copy I'm gonna paste it right uh, below this context okay now uh, I'm gonna do the indentation properly um, this is what I just pasted I'm gonna tab it in good so uh, this context right here should allow us to 
run the invoice run the form i don't know why i'm always saying invoice run the form on the template okay so uh since we have this variable if we want this variable to appear on the template we're gonna create it right here form form okay good so you're gonna save it now um before i explain this part i'm gonna switch over to the template okay and make sure the form is available on the template then i can come and explain what's going on here now going to the list invoice view i want the form to appear right below the title okay i'm gonna do this form okay save it and then refresh the page good so we have the form right here i can do a br so that this line will be uh, a different line with the form i'm gonna do a br right here good now we'll need to add a search button so this is the code that i have on the site okay so you can see how to render the form that is just almost the same as the entry form that we did in the entry html template now i'm going to copy the rest of the code that is right here okay copy it i'm going to paste it in um i'm going to override the form i have here okay and do the indentation properly let's indent that properly i'm going to indent right this one's only good okay we have several brs i'm gonna remove all these brs okay so in the form that is the form that we just rendered and you're gonna have a submit button or a search button good and we're gonna um wrap it in a form method okay a form uh, tag and the method will be post so since this method right here is post okay don't forget your csrf token okay uh, i talked a little bit about that when we did, i was doing the entry form okay you can refer to that video for more about this csrf token now um to um allow us to search data okay we looked at this this is having a method of post so since we have post here if we click on this submit or this search button we are executing a post request or a post method now since that is post having that in mind i'm going to go back to the view so within the view this is the condition right here so if request.method equals equals post okay since we have post right here okay i'm going to say if request.method equal equal post then you can take the query set that's the query set that we had above here that is um matching the invoice that objects that all okay that's the query set whatever we have in that query set that is everything that is in the invoice model okay we're gonna now start filtering that in fact we have it here again okay so i'm assigning it again now we're gonna do that filter invoice dot objects dot filter here we have that all so here we're gonna use that filter so we're gonna filter based on the invoice number if it contains whatever we have in the form okay this other field invoice number field i'm gonna break this down so that it's easier to read good now these are the two criteria or these are the two fields that we're gonna be filtering uh with we have invoice number i contain equals form the field name that value comma and then name i contain the form field name that is the name the value okay so we'll make sure that we render the form again if not if we do the post and these contexts are not within this post request the form the title and the query set will not be run rendered on the template okay so if you understand that i'm gonna click save and then uh switch over here do a refresh again Oh, we have this error crispy forms good so since we are using crispy right here from crispy we have to make sure we load crispy i have it right here on the site if you want to copy it 
and then paste it right here save it and then refresh again good so the form is rendering properly on the side or on the tablet now i'll do a search and see if this is working i'm gonna do a search uh, i'm gonna search the uh, inverse number two i'm gonna type two and click search good so we got it that right there okay and if I type uh, the customer name, let's say I want to type Lamy, and I press enter, we have it right here. So this is working very well. Now, uh, the reason why I'm clicking at the address bar and pressing enter, since uh, we are doing search based on the inverse number and customer name, some of these fields, like if I scroll down, you can see the um, customer name is not imported for these all these that have none here and this nonce if I do read if I do search it's gonna cut all them out because um, uh, we did not submit anything uh, that is none okay all right this is an empty string okay and that has none in them good so that's why all that is cut now I'm gonna um, run the entire query set good okay now I want to design this page a little bit more I'm gonna go to the um, template and this is the form so remember in uh, in the entry form if you've been following this uh, tutorial since at the beginning in the entry form we had this uh, class my form that's what I'm gonna use It's already having some styles apply to it I'm gonna come down here and apply that same styling so I'm gonna wrap the form within that class okay I'm gonna tab it in tab the whole of the form in and save it refresh all right so I'm um, okay I have uh, the styles applied to it okay so this is what I want to show you on this video if you enjoy don't forget to click on the like button if you're not yet subscribed and you enjoy videos like this or anything programming i'll in invite you to click on that subscribe button if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below i'll try to answer as much as i can so if all that is done um i'll say see you in the next video